How's it going, my friends? This is Ionicus, and doing a double Marvel Legends review. If you're gonna do it quick and easy, especially the theme of these two figures, uh, Marvel Legends Retro Wave Spider Man Animated Rose and Tarantula. Now, if you've been hitting your local alleys up, like I have, last like, week or two. And you've seen this, met several of these, this wave of figures popping up. Oh, excuse me. Uh, among other different Marvel Legends showing up at Ollie's. That's why I picked these up. Uh, Goods of these were widespread release not that long ago. Uh, I never picked up these two figures. The one I never saw them to Target by my work. And whenever I did find them at normal retail, there was other things I wanted to pick up before I picked these up. And I was really trying to get them on clearance. But unfortunately here in Michigan, anything that's less than 10% of clearance is gone. About 10% clearance. We got a lot of resellers and scalpers and collectors in my area. In Michigan in general. So, I'm babbling. We need to open these up. So, let's go ahead and get on to it. And welcome to Ionicus Toy Reviews. So, here we have Rose and Tarantula out of their packaging. And they look really good. I want to start off with Tarantula. I'm going to move the rose back there. And he looks good. He's got a butterfly joints. You can do a T-pose. His arms can go 360. Swivel at the upper forearm. Nice bend at the elbow. They're not pinless, but it is what it is. His head can rotate 360, can look down really far, can look up really far. Rocker in the chest, waist rotation. Can go up that far, can kick, can't really kick back too far. Super kick to hit somebody in the throat with his little pointy thingies here. He can go up, down, all over the place. There's a boot cut there. Double jointed knees. Very generous bend. Upper thigh swivel. So, posability is really good for him. No accessories. Which kind of sucks. Because I, mean, I like at least alternate hands for him. But... Is what it is. And as for the rose here, his head can go up that far, and go that far, can go 360. You can do a T pose. And the arm's gonna rotate 360. He's got the upper arm swivel. Pinless joints, I might add, on him. So that's one step ahead of Tarantula. And his hands go all in different directions, which I think is did, did too, but I mean, they're just punchy hands. But unfortunately, from there on out, it's kind of eh with Rose here, because I mean, all one piece jacket. I don't know what exactly is going on inside there, what kind of joint that is in there. Could be a rocker, just could be a swivel type joint, I don't know. But he does have waist swivel. Can't kick up too far, can't kick forward or back too well because of his jacket. I wish they would have had like this cut open. I 
I was thinking about cutting it just so it could give them a little bit more range of motion, but I do not like doing things like that to my figures. I don't like customizing them you know, like that. It's cool to add out, you know, do new parts or something, like new weapons, stuff like that. I do some permanent damage, whether or not it's not considered damage. Permanent modifications to my figures, I do not like. But he does have a precise swivel. Very, very tight knee joints. And they're pinless. And his feet go left, right, and out. All that good stuff. So the jacket confines his posability a little bit. But unlike excuse me. Unlike Tarantula there, he does come with an extra set of hands. He's got a set of pointy hands, or one pointy hand, and one gun holding hand. I'm going to switch those out. So I can show off. He's got two of these guns, which makes no sense for him to have two. But they are two different guns. So it's got this ammo clip. silencer and this one just looks like it's a different gun they're both molded in black plastic different molds oh what the fuck i don't know where this yawning's coming from but uh choose either one to put in his right hand And you got this rose. Well, you know what? I was having it held in his hand before, but now it's not doing it. They could have given him two... I don't know why I'm yawning. What the hell? There could be... They could have given him two weapon-holding hands instead of this pointy hand. Or they could have still given him the pointy hand just given him another gun-holding hand. That would have been great. Is what it is. I I like the figure. I just wish I had another gun holding hand. Over the side here. Now these, like I said, like I said it before, they're from the. Spider-Man animated series retro cards. I have 
the tarantula from that series. So there's a comparison of the two. Compared to him, this guy sucks. But both these figures are good. Uh, for $10, I give him a decent 8.5 out of 10. But, uh, let me go ahead and flip this around to give you my more in-depth final thoughts. I gotta figure out what the hell I'm just keep yawning like this. So, like I said, I give them both the Rose and Tarantula a good 8.5 out of 10. You have a local Ollie's and you find these there. Pick them up because ten dollars for a Marvel Legends, even if one of them doesn't have any accessories, and one is slightly lacking in posability. I, I, I don't think I would want to pay full price for these two, which is the normal price for Marvel Legends these days is like twenty four ninety nine. Uh, they're definitely worth picking up. And that $9.99 price point, can't beat that. Uh, so definitely pick them up. And definitely give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share, subscribe, whack that bell for notifications. And... Just remember to keep hitting those toy aisles. I'll see you guys next time. Later.